Hi there, this is the X5. I'm looking forward to show you how do I use to work with my two EMU Emacs. Okay, let's start with the EMU Max 1. This is the grey one. This is the first model, the early model. It's a 12-bit sampler with analog filters and analog VCA2. It's very large, very big size and um, you can watch the numeric path, uh, the data entry, the volume, uh, some function buttons, the sequencer area and the module area. This is the main area. Uh, here you can switch from master module, from uh, sample, uh, from uh, digital processing, preset management, preset definition and analog processing. So some of the of these functions are very clear. Sample is for sampling. Digital processing is for, um, for instance, uh, truncating sample, looping sampler, sampling, uh, and uh, taper the sample, splice it, combine crossfade loop, and so on. Preset management allows you to manage how do the samples are uh, grouped. A preset definition is for working with the samples, uh, with the smallest pieces inside this uh, machine, the samples, the raw samples. And analog processing uh, has to do with the VCA, with the, the tuning, with the filter, and uh, for instance, panning, chorus, keyboard mode, and so on. So let's power it up. The main switch is on the back. You have to switch it on and the screen will show us a welcome message. After it, it's asking us about a floppy because this uh, Emacs, these samplers work with, uh, uh, with the operating system inside a floppy always. The operating system is not inside the machine so every time you need to do something you need to insert a floppy. Then it automatically starts to load the software and after it to load the sounds, the banks inside the floppy. Uh, every floppy can store a bank containing up to 99 uh, sounds or presets. Okay, now we are we are watching an original Emacs library floppy. This is the Arco strings. This is very very famous. Uh, you will <laughs> you will hear it in a while. So let's check some of the sounds. You can uh, select, for instance, this Oberheim sample. It sounds very fat, thanks to the analog filters, uh, for sure. Let's switch to another sound, for instance, this one. This, this other one. Especially the filters, the analog filters with resonance sound really, really warm. Okay, okay, now let's go for another floppy to check the sounds and let's, uh, let's tweak some of the Emacs parameters. For instance, let's take this one. I think you can see what does the label say. Okay, yes, it, it indeed, it's my samples for fly on the, whisk, on the green screen, the bit more fly on, fly on the green screen. Then I order the sample to loading all the bank, the whole bank, including the presets. In this case, there is only a preset, fly wind. Let's see how does this sound. Okay, it's been a while since I don't play this track. Okay, let's uh, put this example. For instance, I want to move this sound from this first octave to the second one. Okay, it's very easy. We have to use the preset definition function, for instance. Then I have to press it, then I go to another menu. Every, uh, every module is a menu, a big menu with, uh, well, not very big, not very large, just only nine uh, functions, including, uh, for instance, 
the copy voices. This one is what uh, I will use now. Uh, edit uh, assignment, uh, erase voices, and so on. You can uh, you can set uh, several voice parameter here. Then I want to copy the sound from here to here. Then it's very easy. Then I select copy voice. Okay. Sampler is asking me asking me what preset is the voice coming from, and it's the same. We are the preset one. So I confirm it. It's asking me if I I want to copy the primary, secondary, or both voices because each K can store two different samples, like the left-right samples. Uh, that's a kind of stereo, but in this case, Emu is calling it primary or secondary. Then I want to copy both voices. It's, it is asking me which is the lower K from the range I want to copy. Then I have to look. This one, this one is the lower. It's okay. Then it is asking me now uh, to which K, what's the higher K. Then. Uh, for instance, uh, we will copy uh, just only until this, until this one. This is the higher. Okay, enter. Then it's asking me uh, wh which preset do I want to place the voices at, and then it's the same. We are preset one. Then it uh, it is asking me for the new lower K. Mm, for instance, uh, let's take not the second but the third. Octave. Okay, I want to put it here. Then I have a sound here, but it's 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 not a problem. I confirm. I want. This is a advice message, warning message. This is will this will erase voices. Okay, yes or not? Because I already have voices here. Yes, I want to to erase. Yes. Okay. Now it's done. Then I should have. Here the same sound than, than than here. Let's check it. Second, third. Okay, it's done. Now we are looking forward to uh, build a new uh, preset, picking some of the sounds inside uh, several floppy disk. Okay, it's very easy to do, but it's uh, it takes a while until you do it. So, for instance, let's start with a string sound. Uh, we will copy a preset from this floppy, this original Emacs floppy disk. The string sound is the Arco strings are very famous. Then I, I, I want to load all preset and sequences. Instead, it on preset management function, I will uh, just only load a preset, certain preset. Then I select load preset. Now the Emacs is loading the floppy directory, the floppy directory for, for getting all the presets. Okay, preset number two, Arco strings, yes. Select a preset, uh, it's automatically set to one, okay. Okay, it's loading. And I will get the Arco string sound in a while. Floppy is working. This preset is large, so it, is, it takes a while. Okay, it's almost done, I think. The Emacs can take up to 35 seconds loading uh, some floppies, so it can be <laughs> a little bit boring. It's very slow. But let's think it's 80s technology. Okay, rename preset? No, I don't want to, so it's done. So, at this moment, I have inside the Emacs this nice sound that Oh, the modulation wheel is. You will recognize this sound perfect, perfectly uh, for a lot of uh, famous sounds. Okay, very bad sub voice. Then uh, I've got the whole keyboard. Let's think. I just only want this. Notes. Okay, then I can isolate them. So let's delete the other ones. Oh, I, I, oh, a floppy on the ground. Okay, let's put any floppy disk inside for getting the operating system. So I go for a um, preset definition in order to uh, delete all the non-desired sounds. So 
I will go for the function uh, erase voices. Okay, I select it. Then it's asking the lower k branch for being deleted. Then I want to start from the lower k. I confirm. Then it starts to ask me uh, what is the higher k. If this is, we will keep uh, from this k and uh, to the to, to the higher area. Then this is the high high k on the section I want to delete. Okay, enter. This will erase voices. Okay, yes, yes, because I will erase voices. Okay, now I don't have sound any sound here until the last key I marked as the higher k for being deleted. Then sound is here. Okay, we can do the same for the erase voices. Select low k. This one is the lower. Okay, and this one is the higher. This will erase voices. Okay, I know. Now it takes a while again. And then we have no sound above this section and no sound below this section. Okay, now let's do the same operation, including a uh, fly on the windscreen sound. For instance, I go to preset management, then I will have to load some preset coming from the floppy inside now. So I have to go to load preset function. Then there is only a preset with sounds fly on the windscreen. Then I will load it from the floppy one preset to the Emacs two preset because in the one preset the one is the arco strings we we have copied before and the preset number two is is empty so we will go for this preset it takes a while as before and then after it it asks us for renaming I we don't want okay now it's done so we have two presets, arco strings with the strings before and the fly on the windscreen with all our fly on the windscreen sounds. So let's uh, think we want to um, copy into the strings preset this section for instance. Okay, very easy. Then we have to go to preset definition, copy voices, okay. Get voice from preset. We want to take it from the fly on the windscreen, the last one we have copied. Then we select which present, which which preset, not present, are the samples coming. From. We have to select the low k. Okay, this is the low k. Copy to high k. What's this? This is the high k. Okay, copy voice to which preset? So we were we want to copy this sound into the Argo strings preset. Okay, yes. Select a new low K from, from that samples we have picked, we have to select, uh, so what's the lower K? And the lower K is this, the same we have marked before. Okay, then we have just copied into the strings, press it, the fly on the windscreen sound. Okay, that's all by now. Uh, there will be more chatter soon. Thank you.